We're back with Planet 1051's Mikey and the Misses. What is the silliest fear that you have? Hmm. Well, I wouldn't consider any of my fears silly. Or maybe you have a fear that the odds of it actually happening are incredibly low. Okay. But, but uh, you still have that fear. I have the fear that you will leave me and fall in love with someone else. Wow. And you claim that's a silly fear. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, look at me. But <laughs> I'm just kidding. They can't. I'm on the radio. Uh-huh. So <laughs> that's beyond the point. Okay. Anyway, but yeah, that's Th- one that, of my fears. That's your yeah. That's a fear. Yeah. I am afraid of being framed for a crime that I didn't uh, commit. Yeah. that I don't find that a silly fear because it happens all the time. Okay. You're welcome. Well, yeah. You listen to like these, these crime things. Like if you were to go missing. Mm-hmm. Or something like that. There's no winning. They always look at the husband first. Of course they do. E- even if I have nothing to do with it. Well, and it doesn't If I help. cry too much, I'm overreacting. Yeah. If I don't cry, it means I don't care and I know something. Well, and it doesn't help that I put a tattoo on my thigh that says Mikey did it. Yeah, there's that. There's that. <laughs> yeah. She got it on her honeymoon. <laughs> Get it? Oh, Mikey. Whatever. My apologies to Bonnie's family, especially okay. her parents. And to everyone listening. Uh Uh-huh. All right. So they make a movie about your life. Mm Mm-hmm. All right? Which song plays during the credits? Ooh. Now, the credits are the end, right? The very end. The very, very end. But it's like it encapsulates the movie. Yeah. What the movie was about. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um, Wouldn't it be the same one that you want at your funeral? Uh, Which is I Don't Want to Live on the Moon. I Don't Want to Live on the Moon from Sesame Street. Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay, um, wait, I'm just going to interrupt this conversation because I had a conversation with our 15-year-old daughter. No, she's 16 now. Mm-hmm. She said that every time she hears that song, she tears up. That was the idea. I know, because she thinks of well, your funeral. One day I'm going to die? Yeah. That was the whole point. Okay, but like, doesn't it's that make you happy? Yeah. The kids would never so, say that about me. <laughs> so so everybody, here's what you do to get your kids to appreciate you. You say, I want this song at my funeral. And you say it over and over and over again. Uh-huh. So every time that they hear that song, they're going to think about you and your life and how much you meant to them. Okay. What about me? Like, they're, not one of my children has ever said they're going to cry when I die. All right. Um, so do I need to come up with a song? Yeah, Kiss from a Rose on the Grave. No! <laughs> Awful. There's a green tower alone on the sea. All right. That's good. Um, no, my song for my credits is It's My Life. <laughs> bon Jovi. It's now or never. Wow. How about I'm just that? Kidding. I'm just kidding. That's the first one that came to my mind. I oh, don't know. I'm changing mine. Okay. What's yours? Fat bottom girls uh, <laughs> make the rock and roll go around. Oh my God. Just because I think it would be funny to hear at a funeral. That's all. all. Right. Okay. Cool. Mine is going to be. I'll be a dentist. Oh, yeah, from Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah, it'll make no sense whatsoever. None. To have as my Absolutely. final scene. <laughs> there you go. 